All right, today I'm going to show you how to remove and replace the power supply for a computer. The reason I'm re uh, taking my power supply out is because I bought a new graphics card and it is not good enough for the new graphics card, the power supply. So I'll show you how to do it. First thing you want to do is take uh, unplug everything from the power supply. So I got this yellow wire to the motherboard. And this other wire to the motherboard, the main power port. And just be gentle when pulling these out. They're usually held in by a snap pin or just a push plastic pin case thing. Some things you may need a screwdriver to pull open, like a metal hanger that's holding the wires. I already pulled that one open a little bit. And these cables that are connected to your hard drive and your disk drive. They, they're like a pinch to unlock. You have to pinch the top of them and then pull them out. You have to pinch this top here. And you have one on your disk drive and hard drive. Alright, now I got that out. I got that out. Should be everything. There's not a whole lot connected to it. And on the back of your computer, I can't show because I have slipped this whole case over. There are usually four screws holding your power supply in place. Just take them out. It's very simple. Alright, now that's free. Oh, and by the way, before you start doing any of this, as you can probably already know, I unplugged everything. Definitely unplug everything and take. I'm assuming you know how to take your case apart. That's you. And something else that's in my case specifically, I don't know if it might be in our computers, this might be a standard thing, but in the power supply corner, let me zoom in here and not lose focus. Kinda. Yeah. About here, there's a little tab. You have to push down to get this power supply to pull out because right now it's stuck in there. You push that down and it slides out. I'll show you how to do that. It's very simple. You just avoid all these wires again. These are all USB stuff. Just push it down. You should probably use a screwdriver to make it life easy. Push it down, slides right out. Simple as that. There goes your old power supply. Now we'll install the new one. Oh, and you can probably keep your old power plug from this. They're common, they're universal. They're all 125 volt 10 amp plugs. So I'm just going to use my old one, I'm not going to use the new one. If anyone knows what this little blue wire is for, please tell me. Because when I bought this computer, it had that just hanging out, and I don't know what it's for. Alright, now that's screwed back in, and start hooking stuff up. Rather, hooking things back up that you unplugged. Well, let's cover the essential things, if I can navigate this mess here. Alright, I skipped over a little part to uh, get these connectors back in for the hard drive and disk drive power, because they were a little bit difficult to get in. But uh, you should know from where we unplugged them that where they go. This is going to be the power for a graphics card. The 6 pin PCIe power supply. I need now a 
four pin PCI. You're gonna want to get a tie wrap and tie up the rest of these wires back. This goes to your motherboard. Really making this a challenge for me with these two separate slots. Two separate plugs for one damn motherboard plug. Okay, I hope that's in. And then take one of these guys. The two of them, for some reason. Looks like on two motherboards for some reason. Some odd reason. There you go. Now this is going to be a pain in the ass when you don't want to take your graphics card out, but that's how it rolls. Alright, and that's that.